sports in Cambodia is beginning to experience a complete different dimension and in a couple of days uh, the first national games will kick off right here at the national olympic stadium and right now uh, the teams are already preparing and getting ready but in the meantime uh, the opening ceremony will be held on 28th October uh, right here at the National Stadium and uh, the artists, the athletes and the officials are already preparing and uh, doing the final rehearsals ahead of the games. Uh, as Radio 1 Sports Locker uh, caught up with uh, the Secretary General of the National Olympic Committee of Cambodia uh, just uh, uh, watching and uh, going through uh, the preparations that are going on here and uh, this is what he has to say. The national game is just a few days away. Um, how prepared uh, uh, are you for the national games? Yeah, we are uh, almost 90% uh, ready. So all the athletes and delegates from the 25 uh, city and province uh, is uh, ready to make the entry form by name. And then uh, uh, the opening and closing uh, program is uh, ready uh, approved from our management leader and then uh, all the performance concern they are starting to uh, training and uh, we are testing on 23 uh, and 26 uh, 26 is final rehearsal so that uh, we make sure the 28 uh, opening is a uh, is, uh, is, uh, uh, is a ready and complete well, um, what is the significance of this national game uh, to the people of Cambodia uh, the most uh, important of the sport mega event is to encourage the people to take part in the uh, event and encourage the young people to uh, work hard for, the, for getting good uh, uh, performance, good result, and then uh, to make uh, to build them to be a good skill. Uh, in the future because we need them to prepare for the SEA Games 2023 hosting by Cambodia and then uh, we also uh, said that the game is not only for uh, it's, it's not only for the, the, the sport it's also for the people for the uh, human resource development for the official, all the official concern can uh, take experience from how to to, to work uh, with the other people, how to work as the teamwork, how to uh, coordinate uh, all the stakeholders that uh, they join to uh, competition and to the event and uh, the the opening and closing is the event that show our uh, country uh, have the ability and our country is developed and we are living in the peaceful country so now uh, we show the, the world we show the Cambodian people that Cambodia now we they are uh, ready to work the SEA Games 2023. So, I'm going to talk about the SEA Games 2023. I'm going to talk about the SEA Games 2023. I'm going to talk about the SEA Games 2023. I'm going to talk about the SEA Games 2023. I'm going to talk about the SEA Games 2023. I'm going to talk about the SEA Games 2023. I'm going to talk about the SEA Games 2023. I'm going to talk about well, uh, we also caught up with uh, some of the, the fans, uh, the Cambodian, uh, uh, who are really excited and looking forward uh, to this very moment uh, when Cambodia will flag off its first national game. And uh, uh, why, with me uh, is uh, Sam Nang, and uh, he also shares his thoughts and his expectations about our Cambodian sport. Uh, developed in recent time. 
Uh, hello, please, can you tell us what is your name? Uh, my name is Heng Samnang. Yes, uh, I'm, in, uh, I'm Cambodian. Oh, good. Uh, Heng Samnang. Um, we can see that sports is gradually developing in Cambodia. Uh, how do you feel looking at uh, Cambodian sports today? I think that nowadays Cambodian sport is growing up and everyone support it. I like and enjoy to see that. Good. Um, we, we can see uh, watching the football games uh, nowadays more than 60,000 fans uh, coming to the stadium. It was not like this before. Uh, yes. How do you feel when you see a lot of people uh, coming to watch football in Cambodia? I think that is the best way to develop more our sport and I am, I am really happy to see that. Good. Yeah. Uh, now, we, we're talking about um, the sport is growing. What, why do you think uh, the sport has changed recently and what has made it to become uh, very popular? Because of the, I think that because of the, uh, the feeling that everyone to uh, support and to make everyone growing up the sport. So they have to support to come to watch and invest their time to it means that to uh, get the feeling of the sporter more, more efficient to play Good. and to win for the Cambodian. Good, yeah. Yes. yeah talking about winning, uh, we can see that uh, because of the recent success in uh, uh, games, I mean, you know Son Sivmei, right? Yes. Cambodia did very well in the Olympic. And uh, very soon, Cambodia will host the, the SEA Games. Uh, yes. Are you excited about this opportunity of Cambodia hosting the SEA Games? Yes, I really excited yeah. to see that. Okay. And um, so, what do you think, or what is your suggestion to think that can help to improve uh, more Cambodian sports? Uh, for my idea and for my thinking, I just want to say that to everyone to help and support with the Cambodia sport. Yeah. Yeah, you've heard it from the Secretary General, His Excellency Vat Chamron. You've heard it from the fan. And yes, the opening ceremony will be on the 28th of October. Uh, but uh, the final dress rehearsals will be held uh, between 24th and 26th of October, uh, right here at the National Olympic Stadium. Uh, Radio One Sports Locker will be right here and bringing you a daily report on the national game. And stay tuned. And it's Ken Gaddafi reporting from the National Olympic Stadium for Radio 1 FM 103.7.